I have a mortgage on the home that means everything to me, where I have all my memories of my mom and brothers who I've lost. But without my pension, the pension I'm entitled to, I don't know if I can keep it. It will break my heart to sell that house. I don't want to sell it but they've left us without the income we were expecting. Like a lot of women my age I've looked after my mom, I've been a carer and saved the government a lot of money but we're being treated like dirt. Now we're being told we can't get our pensions yet. Now we're having to try and get new jobs to survive, but where are these jobs? I've applied for 150 jobs and didn't even get a response. You look at these sites and it's all the same jobs coming up, they don't want to employ people our age. I won't sign on because I know what the system is like. I've worked in the office, I know the people there are just doing their jobs, but the system degrades you. I'm not going to a job club and being asked to write CVs. I know how to write a CV and apply for jobs but if I refuse to go for these lessons I'll be sanctioned. Compared to some people I'm okay. My fellow campaigners and I speak to women every day who are facing ruin and hardship because they have had the financial rug pulled from under them. When a form of state pension was first introduced in 1902 you had to be 70 to claim it, an age many people didn't get to, so we're going back to that aren't we? How many people won't get to take their pension at all? The government say it will cost an pound. 30 billion to pay us but they can find the money for Trident, to bribe the duck but not for women like me who have worked all their lives. Tell us about the issues affecting you in 2017. We are retracing the journey George Orwell made in his book, The Road to Wigan Pier, throughout 2017 to tell modern stories of working and unemployed poverty. They'll appear in a regular series in the Daily Mirror newspaper and here on our special anniversary website.